Hey, good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Tuesday, April 8th, 2014. Uh, announcements, nothing really happened yesterday except for a nice little bearish market and nothing that they anticipate is going to be market affecting for today. Tomorrow and into the rest of the week, a little bit different. We have Auntie Yellen minutes from her meeting coming up tomorrow afternoon, which should be interesting. All right, moving right along. Try to keep these maybe a little bit shorter than what they used or have been. Uh, in Asia, came out kind of mixed uh, today at the close today. And in Europe, all there across the board. How about here in the U.S.? All right, we are as about as flat as you can be here, except for the NASDAQ, which uh, is trying to give us a nice pop for this morning, but we'll see. But otherwise, um, Russell is down a little bit, Dow is flat, and the S&P is, for all practical purposes, flat. But of note here is gold, and I'm so glad that I did not roll that covered call here on gold. This 134 call, it's going to expire next week. Totally and completely out of the money that I collected 43 cents on, and it's only worth 2 cents right now. I think that I am going to close that today while it's totally worthless and take the 41 cents total out of that mainly because I can do it for free it's not going to cost me anything and for uh, you folks that have small accounts and are sort of you know not happy with uh, 995 plus 75 cents per contract just give the trade desk a call and if you have a small account and you're trading small amounts, they're more than happy to accommodate you to get you to a buck and a quarter uh, per contract price, which if you're like me and you're trading less than, I think the break-even is around 16 or 17 contracts per order. If you trade less than that, the buck and a quarter is worth it for you. So um, I had a very nice talk with them yesterday about Google too. I think I understand what they had to do, but it just drives me crazy what what the uh, two um, people that started Google, what they did to the stock just for themselves to keep control of the company. Just take the money and go do something else, you know? I mean, geez, why do you got to mess with the rest of us that trade it? All right. Um... Yeah, we're starting to move a little bit more negative today. All right. We'll cover what I did yesterday. The only trade it got into yesterday was Apple. I had the alerts trigger on the rest of them. <clears throat> and I decided to take a pass. We had Apple triggered, FedEx, Google, and MasterCard all triggered. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I'm looking for some new candidates for the A-plus list. I got some ideas um, from another source uh, rather than doing a scan. And I am removing MasterCard because after their stock split, they did a 10 for 1. Or one, yeah, 10 for one back here. Uh, it was very sweet, you know, up there around 800 bucks. And then they did this split, and I think it was just a little bit too much. Like maybe a five for one would have been okay, but it really took me out of the game because I like to see stuff above 100 bucks uh, just so I don't have to trade so many contracts. So, uh, Sayonara to MasterCard. It's been fun. You are now gone. Alright. 
So we'll be looking at some other candidates today. Apple, start out with them. Go to the Analyze tab here, and these are some things that I was playing with, but this is where we are today, right now, on this Apple expiration is this week. There's our um, probability. There we go. Uh, one standard deviation here for this time period. And then we have our 10% plus and minus 10%. Okay, so how does that look on a chart? Well, it looks like that. I got into this one pretty much right away in the morning. And it worked out pretty well. And it looks like today it's going to continue its slide down in, in the pre-market trading here. So we're in on Apple. Amazon. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to give us an opportunity here. Let's slide this over. And I'm going to elongate this because right now, with, when it's moving heavy and fast like that, and we're not getting any opportunities at the 80 level, let's look for them down at the 70. And maybe, you know, in this case, on any flag pattern. So this is the flag, the pole, and the actual flag. And there it is. And this would have been a trading opportunity when you are in a downtrend I'm thinking I haven't changed any rules yet or anything but I'm thinking because when it moves down it moves very fast we're on an escalator on the way up and an elevator on the way down so in order to catch that elevator you gotta be quick but you don't wanna chase it so uh, after market yesterday yeah we don't know where this is going to open today Boeing uh, Boeing we did not get in on this what what did I do yesterday on this I was looking at a 20 Delta on this yesterday and uh, just looking at it Probably a good idea right now. Well, no, actually, there was a little bump last night after the market closed, but still looking for a 20 delta on that. Now, of course, uh, a lot of these, if you want to take shots at calendars as they move down, um, certainly can do that. Calendars are kind of fun. Out of the money, they're pretty cheap. Where do you think Boeing's going to end up? If you think it's going to end up at 120 and you want to do a calendar for next week, what are we thinking? 120, well, that's actually this week. Could very well end up close to there. Maybe normal expiration. Let's look at 120 calendar. Put calendar if you want to buy that. So that's only $68 that you would be investing in that. And you could get a big payout. You know, anywhere, any any time that you're going to recover, get 100% profit, basically, um, that's a good deal. And that's right here, starting here at 121.74, and here approximately at 118.30 or so. So that's a pretty good deal. I may do more of those. Oops, let's go back here. Okay. So, I'll take that off of there. So that's a, a an idea for a trade on any of these that are heading down. Just try to hit the dates right and see what happens. Don't count on taking $100 out of your calendar. If you uh, open a calendar and you're paying a buck and a quarter and you got two contracts, that's $2.50 and you can pull, you know, uh, say it costs you 50 or $60 for the calendar, and you can pull 30 bucks out, that's a pretty good deal, even after um, commissions. So that's a good deal. All right, I said I was going to move a little faster today. Uh, Baidu, all right, another calendar candidate waiting for it to come up same type of flag that we were looking at before uh, in a nice downtrend 
So we're still waiting for that one to mature, but <clears throat> excuse me, you can do a calendar on that. Cell gene, uh, we might get a little bit of a pullback up here. Biotech is not doing real good right now. Another calendar candidate. You know, just where do you think it's going to move? How strong do you think this move is? So this one was pretty long. This one was uh, one, two, three weeks long. So if you anticipate, you know, you want to go out two weeks. Two weeks, it went from uh, 157, one, two, down to 144. So we were at a $12 move. So if you can get um, something at the 125 level, that might be a good trade. A calendar at the 125. But for CSSV2 right now, nothing doing. All right. Uh, same thing with Chipotle. Let's take this off of here. Um, we're waiting for a setup here on Chipotle as a trend reversal. All right, moving right along, Costco. All right, we never really got our entrance here, so we're moving this over to here. Uh, there, I bumped that stupid button again. There. It's because I'm not using a mouse pad, and the mouse is a little... doesn't move as smoothly on a surface, table surface, as it does on a mouse pad. Um, okay, so we're waiting for an entry on it, but I mean, like, all of these are really good calendar, uh, put calendar candidates. I wouldn't, you know, like, throw a whole lot after them, but... Uh, we're looking a little bit like we might open up a tad on Costco today. So maybe it's going to give us a little pop here and we can get in on it. It's been moving down for quite a while. Chevron. Uh, we have the calendar on that. It's trying its darndest to get down here to 110. So I'm glad that it's... Uh, working itself out here and we'll see uh, going into next week how it's doing how is the Dow well I'm going to put a target well actually you know short term uh, we're gonna have to see how today goes because there may be an opportunity here to for a bullish trade at least for the next day or two who knows, uh, you might react positively to Auntie Ellen, so we'll have to see what happens there. We're going to be keeping an eye on that. Uh, Igor. All right, we have a... Well, this is kind of stretching it. I would say this is a stretch for a setup. It's not really a setup. Definitely is a 20 Delta candidate. Doesn't even qualify as a stretch for a CSS V2. So I put that down as a bull put candidate for a 20 delta. Or you can even do it at the money if you want, but I'm not going to, there's no way that I'm going to call that a um, uh, CSS V2 because it just violates too many rules, or at least one big one. All right, so uh, I was thinking about a play on FedEx yesterday at the money, and it's still at the money. But I'm sitting here with this long put that, who knows, might pay off. If it gets down to 120, what is this? This is in April. So we need to get it down to, yeah, it's not going to pay off till it gets to 120. It's practically worthless now, anyway. Four and a half cents. So, are we seeing anything on FedEx? Uh, we saw yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me, what did I have down for FedEx yesterday? Probably nothing. Yeah, I was looking to do a um, bear call on that. 
and I just kind of missed it. I didn't get in on it. Got a lot of alerts yesterday. Uh, gold. Looking good today. Um, are we going to get our hook? Probably not. So let's slide this over to here. And let's see how it plays out. Goog, Google, Goog GL, the good old Goog GL. All right, um, this is the this is the one that we're going to be trading. IV percentile. It's at 100 percent of its IV percentile. I wouldn't doubt that with the way this is moving and with the earnings coming up. There's just no doubt about that. I suppose if it could be, it never get above 100 percent because it's always 100 percent of its high IV over the last year I think this is so as IV keeps going up higher that it's just going to stay at a hundred percent so what do we have here um, we don't have a play because of earnings definitely not a CSSV2 so we have our ugly little calendar out here which is not even showing on here because it is at 1090 and it's a it right now it's a disaster the short that I collected 23 on would cost me 41 to buy back and the long that I paid 34 would I could uh, collect 45 on that so I make 15 on that and lose about 18 on that one <clears throat> hmm. 17 18 about 18 so that could be a three or four hundred dollar smack in the face on that right now just because of this IV is just going kind of insane here and you can't even get a volatility number off of these things that's what's parking me off and the guy at the um, trade desk said well you should just close the position and I said well I want to wait a while and he said yeah it probably won't hurt <laughs> so um, I'll just will wait a while and see what happens there okay uh, let's see let's Google IWM alright um, this is a nice setup here too this is very pronounced. We like that. But which direction are we? So this could be in either direction right now. So if we get a little hook up today, I'm going to call this a, a setup for a... I don't know what it's a setup for. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I would not, however, um, I would not do a bull trade on this so I'm going to wait for it to come up here LinkedIn looking for another opportunity in the near future there IV percentile 74 percent 3M um, we have a setup on 3M I somehow feel a little bit Bull trades right now are going to be few and far between unless whatever it is your instrument you're trading underlying happens to typically move counter to the market. Netflix taking a huge digger. We're waiting for an opportunity to get in another good calendar candidate, but you got earnings coming up here, so be careful. Calendars, uh, you want to buy them when IV is high. Priceline. Priceline's in the IV 100 percentile. Okay, so IV is very high right now. Priceline would be a good one. What's Netflix? Netflix is at 60% and probably moving higher as we get closer to earnings. So that could be another good earnings play. Back to Priceline. 
uh, we have earnings coming up anyway. Priceline's got a weird schedule. They're either very early or the last one. So this was back in February. So we're looking way out in May for their earnings. So based on this, this be a good candidate. You have to take a look at uh, at the individual strikes and the expirations for those strikes. Q's. Uh, I'm going to put a target up here for them. I'll wait for that to come up. Even though they're only 85 bucks, hesitant to trade the Q's. And spiders, uh, we actually, I'm not, I'm not going with this. I'm going to actually move this up here. I think we're in a short-term downtrend, and whether it continues or not, we don't know. We just play what we see. I'm looking for this to move a little bit lower. TLT uh, did pretty good with this. We got two trades on this one. One is a calendar, and one is we have our um, bull put here, and then we have our calendar up here. So it's moving up nicely into that territory. So how's the calendar doing? Let's see here. I would have to buy five of each of these one day. 110. We're looking at 110. Okay, so the calendar right now is at 2249 out of an expected 100 or so. <clears throat> and I did five of those. So that is $12.50 in fees for that. So I have to subtract that off of here twice. <laughs> so I'm flat right now on that. So I have to wait for that one to mature a little bit more. Tesla. All right. Um, waiting for that to come up. We're... Um, Obviously, bearish on Tesla and Visa. And we're waiting for it to hit the target here. All right. So that's it for today. We don't have a lot of candidates uh, set up on 3M and a 20 Delta on Igor are the only things that I noted here for today. So have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching and happy trading.